I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have three little boys. Hunter is my oldest, who's just everything that a mother could want for having, you know, her first baby. So I had a normal pregnancy with Hunter. He had an umbilical hernia that never went away. The doctor tried to take care of it a couple of times. It's something that always stuck with him. From the very beginning, he was sick all the time. We had constant ear infections. We were in the hospital or the doctor's office every month with high fevers because of ear infections and runny nose and um, that kind of never went away either. Um, Hunter had a very big head. I always just said, oh, your dad has a big head, you know, so we always just played it off. But it was just like his head didn't fit in with his body. Hunter was born August 2009. I got pregnant um, when he was six months old with Kingston. Kingston was November 10th, 2010. When he was born, um, we were, you know, same joyed with another little boy. Always the runny nose again that never went away. And then ear infections, always on antibiotics. We found a really good doctor and, and she wanted to test for developmental delays. And so we were gonna start there. And then she just like, I have this presumption by the way that your youngest son looks, Kingston, he was one. And uh, she's like, I just wanna get him tested. And she said that if he has something wrong with him, then Hunter has something wrong with him. She sent us to a geneticist, and which they really didn't tell us anything other than it was an enzyme disorder. We didn't really know what it was until we got the phone call stating that they had mucopolysaturidosis too. It was a hard time, lots of tears, lots of denial. And it wasn't just like it was one child, it was both my children. And it was like a blow to the gut. There's no family history of it. There's nothing. My dad, he's just like, no, they got it wrong. It's something you don't want to believe that that's happening to your grandchildren, your children. The boys were diagnosed um, January 2012. Hunter was two, Kingston was one. Everything comes back to Hunter syndrome and PS2. Their heart problems were due to Hunter syndrome their ear infections, their vision is from Hunter syndrome. Just even with Hunter's hernia, he's two years old and he still has his hernia. Everything kind of fell in place with their diagnosis. It felt like the beginning, a new chapter, which it was, because now we could start going. They have something that's wrong with them that's causing their sickness. Right after they were diagnosed, I found out I was pregnant with Nash. And we did all the genetic testing. I actually found out that he was a boy at eight weeks. And then at 12 weeks, I found out he had Hunter syndrome. I didn't think, I was like, no, there's no way I could have three children with this disease. And that was my hardest point right there when I got that phone call that he had it. They all have severe MPS too, so they're all cognitively affected from the disease. We didn't see a lot of speech until about four years old for Hunter. He doesn't understand things like a normal child would. Doesn't have personal boundaries, so he'll just come over and he doesn't care who you are. He'll just give you a big hug, you know, that's just who he is. As for Kingston, he's, you know, pretty much the same, although he's six years now and he only has about 60 words if he uses those. He usually only uses 10 words a day, maybe. All three of my children are differently affected by this disease. There isn't anything I want to do for them. They're my reason for living, you know. I'll wake up and I'm just like, I don't want to go today, you know. It's just, you're so wore out. But then it's, those three little lives depend on you. And I, you know, I would do anything for them in a heartbeat. Those three boys bring so much love to everyone. And it's just, their love for me is what drives me. And, we're just going to make the best of what we have.
I could picture my life another way, but I wouldn't change my children for anything. 